if you know Christ and live as Christ as Lord, then when you die, you continue with that journey. Um, exactly what happens. I don't know, I haven't been there. Um, if you live without Christ, then you die without Christ. And uh, I wouldn't take that risk. Jo, I, I feel personally that, that death is such an artificial dividing line. I mean, for me, um, those members of my family whose physical lives have ended, they're still living. They are still so real to me. And even after I've gone, there, there's something about them that, that is real that will remain in, in, in what they've done in this life. The soul is eternal, so we enter the body at a certain point and we leave the body at a certain point, but the soul has no beginning or end, he's eternal. Uh, so th therefore, life after death simply means we go to our next situation, our next body. That depends on what we've done in this life and previous lives. We're receiving the results of our own activities, the consequences of our own actions. So we believe on reincarnation and rebirth. You suppose anybody does good work, good deed in this life, then God will give another time to complete his journey. When you can keep the memory in your computer, why a person cannot keep the memory of past life in their mind? So if what we've done in this life was in accordance to the will of God, we will be granted paradise. Otherwise, we face the wrath of Allah. We have to believe there is a hell. We have to believe there is a heaven. Um, but it's more a state than a place, you know, that heaven is to be with God, hell is to be without him. And therefore you see people who conduct, who've already made their own hell here on earth. So when somebody leaves this body, the spirit or the soul leaves this body, we believe that he has just completed this life cycle and has moved on to whatever would be the next life cycle. Yes, I do believe that there is another life. Heaven is described as, as being near to God, and that hell is described as being far from God. But in the next world, it, it will be completely different. And we'll realize how much, how wasted our lives were, and how much opportunities were lost. They say, you're a Quaker, what happens to us after we die? And the honest answer is, I don't know. <laughs> All I know is that I think consciousness is wonderful. Uh, and I, I think it's really mysterious. and. Uh, and I can't believe that it just comes to an end at the end of death. I don't know what happens after death, right? I mean, the Buddhist tradition certainly has something to say about this, but I mean, I don't know. If we all know humanity is getting more and more in number in terms of population, but reincarnation suggests must be uh, either you have a fixed number or a decreasing number. And we have an increasing number of human, humans. And because humans always commit sins, and therefore people only get worse, they won't come back again as a human, they are as an animal, because they're getting worse. So I can't explain how reincarnation can work. Jewish teaching has it that uh, this life is not all that there is, that there is a life beyond the limits of death. It's very, very difficult, though, to, to say what that life is because we've no objective way of knowing that.